Are you totally overwhelmed? Hi, I'm Cheryl Hunter, best-selling author and resilience expert. Do you ever experience being overwhelmed? Like you just have way too much to do or it feels like things are pressing down upon you or you're not even sure what to do, but it's just all getting to you. Overwhelm is a common experience that we all have, me included. Rather than just looking at what to do, like what's on your plate, one of the things I like to do is look at what's behind the overwhelm, like what's driving it. Did you recently decide to change something or tackle something new in your life? If so, you might be at odds with your survival brain. Here's what I mean. Your survival brain wants nothing more for you than to survive. And in order to do that, it thinks that it needs stasis. That is to keep everything exactly the same as it is now. So if you're broke and upset about it or overweight and unhappy about it or anything that you don't like, the survival brain thinks, okay, Broken and happy works, it keeps us alive. Or overweight and unhappy works, it keeps us alive. So you've got that thing battling with you anytime you try to change. So first, create a system interrupt, like just a, a, a pattern interrupt of all kinds. If you're at your desk, stand up, walk around a little bit. Ideally, if you can go out and exercise, that would be a great thing to do because not only is it a pattern shift or pattern interrupt, but also it'll give you a much needed boost of endorphins, which can totally alter your mood as well. Another thing to do is go outside into nature. For many people, just being in nature can be a spiritual experience. You know, you kind of put things in perspective, the magnitude of it all. A little fresh air can't hurt either. If you could ideally exercise in nature, you kill two birds with one stone. Next, make a plan, Stan. And I mean, literally, get out your computer, get out a pen and paper, and list, itemize everything that has to be done to execute your new plan or create this change that you're thinking about. Next, execute the plan. I mean, really, one foot in front of the other, just start checking items off of your list that you made. Now finally, if you find that you're still overwhelmed when you're trying to tackle the plan that you made, you might want an accountability partner. Whether it's just a friend who also is trying to change something, or somebody who will just listen to you as you phone them and make promises every day, or if you wanna pull out the big guns and get a mentor or a coach, find someone to keep you true to your plan. I would love to hear from you. Head on over to CherylHunter.com where the conversation is taking place. While you're there, subscribe to my list to be kept on top of things that I only send out to people via email. And in the comments section, let me know what are some of the, the ways that you've gotten overwhelmed in the past and more importantly, what are you gonna do about it now? Thank you for being here. Have your life make a difference. Pattern interrupt, pattern interrupt, pattern, pattern, pattern interrupt of all kinds. Pattern, pattern interrupt, pattern interrupt, pattern, pattern interrupt of all kinds. What the?